Performance TV coming from Borla Commerce Park. Welcome back to Performance TV presented by Top Coat. One of the cornerstones of this whole automobile industry that we love so much is great tools and tools that last. Jim is in from Coke in USA. Rob sells tools and we're going to learn a little bit more about this company. Jim, what is Koken? Well, the founder of Koken actually worked for Henry Ford in 1926 and started Koken in 46. We're a manufacturer of tools. We control our own manufacturing process with a completely vertically integrated system. Now I see we have a lot of tools on the bench. What are we going to learn about here today? Well, I think the beginning is really the fact that we are a manufacturer and to drive that home, here's an example of our manufacturing process. We start with a, a solid piece of material. We machine it to the specific size. We cold forge it, which is the best way of making a sock as opposed to hot forging or broaching. Uh, then we do the turning process and we heat treat it ourselves so we control our own heat treating and then we do the final surface finish. So that is a well-made tool and Jim this is a big company. Yeah, worldwide our business is about 50% manufacturing and 50% hand tools to the professional mechanic. In the U.S. we're selling to all the automotive manufacturers, Nissan, Ford, Toyota, Honda, uh, and we're doing very well. To help us in the hand tool market, we just have a new patent I'd like to go over. Cool. Okay, it's called the Z-Series. A standard socket has a radius ball retainer. And when you attach it to the ratchet, you'll see there's quite a bit of play there. See that play? I know that play. Right, so with the Z-Series, we have a cam. And when you attach it to the ratchet, the radius of the cam pushes the ball up against the vertical wall and virtually eliminating any play. So that gives us a very tight fit of the socket onto the ratchet. And that's going to help when you're working on your car, you don't have all that extra slop in the ratchet, and you can be more efficient. Correct. And also smaller and lower profile. And Rob, you're a tool truck guy. You're out there pounding the pavement, selling to professionals. What is the reaction? The reaction is, is when you get these very thin wall sockets that are shorter, they're a centimeter shorter, they're a millimeter thinner on the wall. Uh, it affords you the room to get into the new cars. Everything is aluminum fasteners, magnesium blocks, uh, very small five and six millimeter screws. And you need the tight spaces to be able to even get the components, the alternators, the water pumps in and out of the car. And the size of these tools gets that done. I can see the sockets are cool. How about these ratchets? These ratchets are great too. They have very thin heads low tension on the springs so that a lot of times when you're trying to start a fastener in a location you can't get to, the fastener will go back and forth or you'll jiggle the socket on top of the fastener and never really get a click. With these heads, they're very low profile and very low tension on them so that you can start even the softest screw. Oh, I gotta try that. Hand me that socket. Sure. That slop in the socket is something that, you know, everybody fights. You've all been there. Wow, that is tight doesn't even move. Yeah, snug. Very snug. And a very narrow head. Exactly. I can see this fitting into a lot of places. So what else out there is popular and people like? So not only do they have those thin wall, short, stubby ones, but they also have these nut grip sockets right here. These are super big time savers. How many times are you dropping a fastener in a place and now you got to hunt to find it? Oh man, all the time. They make every kind of combination of those long, uh, deep, short, flexible, that is cool, just enough to hold it in there, but not a magnet, right? What, right. that's... It's a retaining ring, and the retaining ring means that you could throw the thing in the parts washer, it never disassembles, and then you don't ever have to worry about a magnet breaking and falling out because magnets are brittle, of course. naturally. So the life of that snap ring is indefinite. That is a really cool innovation. And they come in many different sizes, and they also offer in-hex. Same principle, but for an Allen head. Yeah. And they're 3 8 drive, so you'll want to get the 3 8 ratchet if you pull one off of Very that. Very cool. Now this is the whole principle of it. You want to be chasing parts, pieces, bolts, fasteners out there across the garage floor or across the uh, shop floor. Yeah, now hold that upside down. Can you imagine dropping that in an intake manifold? No. It wouldn't be worth it. Yeah. Now you got to take the whole thing apart. Wow, excellent job. I can imagine this will save a lot of time and even more so a lot of frustration. Right. And when you're in the business of making money, fixing cars, time is money. So everything is always geared towards how can I do this right the first time and have no comebacks. So cool. So Jim, what's your next step in your business development? 
Well, we need more Rob's. Rob's been a very successful mobile dealer for us in Southern California, and we're hoping that we can attract more mobile dealers to the professional tool market uh, with working today here at Performance TV. So you guys are looking for more truck guys out there. Yep. You know, the problem we have is guys want to buy our product all over the country, but, you know, they need a local person to come in and explain it and help them understand the value of Coke, and that's what Rob does so well. And that's why you're here. For more information, grab their website. They've got a great product. That is a fact. We'll be back with more Performance TV presented by Topcoat after this.